Hi, I'm Derek Van Alsen. I'm from Slinger, Wisconsin. I'm the owner of Sweet Creations Village Bakery. Why don't you come on in? Well, I guess started about uh, when I was about 17 years old. Uh, when I graduated from high school, I later went on to uh, bakery uh, school at Moraine Park, and I took up the baking associate degree program there. After I graduated from that, I continued working in the restaurant. Um, and then it started getting a little bit old after a while. I wanted more of it, so I actually got a job at a bakery, a, a small local bakery down in Menominee Falls, and that's where I, I learned most of my trade. I was hungry for more. I wanted, I wanted to know what it was like to be a business owner. So my wife and I decided to open our own shop. Um, a new strip mall went up here in Slinger, right on the outskirts, so we, uh, we rented 3,500 square feet of that strip mall. Um, two thirds of it was for production, one third was a store. Our, our retail space. Um, the business actually grew so fast uh, and got so big that we out, uh, outgrew our facility over there. So after our lease was, uh, was used up, we decided to build our own building. We looked at a couple of other uh, existing buildings to remodel, but the cost of, of remodeling an existing building as compared to putting up something that we wanted right from the get-go the cost would have been pretty much the same. So we decided to put up a, a brand new building and that way we got exactly where we wanted. We moved everything from First Bakery down here and we did add a mixer, we added a bigger bench, we added more freezer space, more cooler space, um, a bigger dishwasher. Um, so we, we did expand the, the back quite a bit. If you're gonna put, your, put up a building, uh, which I think is the smartest thing I ever did was, was making my own investments. Uh, just make sure that you have a reputable builder. Uh, that's, that's the key thing. Uh, get, every, get all your ducks in a row with the bank and the financing and make sure that you have a reputable builder and, and the contractors that are working for him are all reputable also.